We've finished discrete random variables and now we're turning to a new type of random variable known as a continuous random variable. And there are some paradoxes associated with continuous random variables. So I am going to use skating on a large frozen pond to illustrate some of these paradoxes. I grew up in Chicago in the suburbs and there were ponds that would occasionally freeze and we would go out there and skate on these ponds and part of skating means at some point you are going to fall and when you fall you might fall right here you can see I am not much of an artist but we'll go with that now that's how you might fall and instead of defining uh, the position that you fall in this fashion let's say you fall on your face and what I would like to do is I would like to take the point where your the tip of your nose makes contact with the ice and try to determine hopefully you get your hands out in front of you so you don't fall on your nose but if you do I want to determine the probability that you fall at that particular point Now, you would be tempted to say, since this is a big pond, there is a very, very small probability of falling there, say 10 to the minus 10th power. But the problem with that approach is, no matter how small you make the probability of falling here, it is the case that there are an infinite number of points on the large pond. And what that means is, you are going to have a probability greater than one when you add up all those points and you can't do that because that violates the probability axioms so if you think about this for a while you are stuck with defining the probability of falling at a particular point to be zero now that's going to be very unsettling to you because of the following you're going to actually fall on this pond and you are going to fall at a particular point this point right here well when you fall at that particular point you also have the fact that it is impossible to fall there and that is one of the paradoxes that is going to come up with continuous random variables now there is one thing that is done with continuous random variables and that is if you have an area rather than just a single point and you say well what is the probability that you fall in that particular area and that can be assigned a non-zero probability I'm just eyeballing it here if that's 1 15th of the total area you might say the probability of falling there is 1 15th the pond is a two-dimensional example and so to simplify this a little bit what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a one-dimensional example and as just kind of a thought experiment here I'm going to ask the question what is the probability distribution that formalizes the notion of equally likely outcomes on the unit interval 0 1 so I'm only in one dimension right now and I've taken this unit interval and I've included 0 and included 1 and here is one way of proceeding you can invent a discrete random variable X that has a probability mass function that looks like this let's start with its support we're going to have the first value of the support here be 0 over n which you know is 0 and that covers the left hand end point and its upper point here is n over n and you know that n over n is 1 so that covers the right hand end point and in between we are going to have mass function values 1 over n 2 over n 3 over n etc and you will have a total number of points here which is n plus 1 so if you let f of x be 1 over n plus 1 you know that this probability mass function will sum to 1 and now we can think about this in the limit as n goes to infinity well two things when n goes to infinity is first of all the mass values f of x are going to decrease as n gets larger and larger and the second thing is this grid of a support that always covers 0 1 will approach a continuous support x that is from 0 to 1 
what are some reasonable properties of this limiting distribution? Well, what about calculating the probability that the random variable x lies between 0 and 1 third, or the probability that x lies between 1 ninth and 4 ninths, or the probability that the random variable x lies between a third and two thirds? What is the common characteristic of those three events, all of those are intervals that have a width of one third. So it would make sense that you would have a probability of one third of falling in any of those intervals of one third. However, the probability that x will assume one particular value of 4 ninths, and by the way, this is analogous to falling at one particular point on the pond, that should approach zero. So this is again the unsettling part of uh, continuous distributions, and this will come up from time to time, and this will be a factor that comes in in all probability distributions.